Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor here. Today, we're going to touch on the underworld toy market of customized toys. They go for thousands, and I mean thousands and thousands of dollars. It's a multi-million dollar category that most people don't have a clue even exists. Let's hop over to the screen right now, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this is custom toys. These are one-offs. These are probably a standardized bodied figure that someone has either made their own sculpted head or they bought the head. And we're going to show you what I mean at the end here. You can literally buy just heads. You can also buy the figure as well. Just a blank figure, no clothes, no nothing. Just a standard male body or a standard female body. And you can make your own figures. Now on here, the key on many of these is to try to make a match, an image from say a show or a scene. Here is a perfect example. This person tried to match to a T Rick from The Walking Dead. It's a real good rendition in all honesty. It may be a custom head that they did. Uh, it's hard to say. And in some of these, they actually embedded hair one by one by one, each one, one at a time into the figure. It's something many people will do. If you see the price, it went for $1,500. Even if you spent a week creating this from a pre-made body or you bought a head and you seeded hair in on your own, that's still a lot of money. The clothes sometimes are just pre-existing clothes. Now on his here, it looks fairly thick, so it's hard to say if he just took a normal shirt and painted it to look the jean style here you see on this one here. It's hard to say, but most of the vintage clothing that fits these figures you can sell on eBay as well because people will buy it to do customs. They'll take a normal figure and just swap out clothing on it, or they'll take a normal figure and put a different head on it, or like this they'll start from scratch with a pre-existing body, a hand sculpted head, and then they'll stitch the clothing together. Sometimes they're stitched, sometimes they're glued, sometimes they're pre-existing pieces of clothing. Like the belt itself, the belt buckle on this one here is a pre-existing one as far as I can say. Uh, there's just so many different varieties. You can get this stuff to the day. He roughed up the pants to match and a whole bunch of other stuff he did to this. So there's a lot of work entailed in making some of these figures, but the price dictates that they're worth the time and effort to put together. Uh, it's very realistic. That's the key. They have to be realistic down to the cloth it does look like maybe there is some hand stitching in this one here. Most people who do these will not give away their secrets, obviously. But again, $1,500. This is an area that most people haven't a clue on. Just type in custom figure in the action figure category, and you're going to see hundreds and hundreds of these from every imaginable line of series. They'll make characters that don't exist. And they'll also do what's called repainting. Well, they'll buy a figure that's already been done either professionally or, you know, manufactured in a factory, and they'll strip the paint with acetone or some other chemical, and they'll repaint the entire thing to make it look much more realistic. Even those can go for a ton of money, and all they're doing is painting. Others, of course, as I said, they'll just swap out a head and do custom clothing for it. But again, they, there's a ton of these available. Doc Holliday from Tombstone, the Val Kilmer character, a well-liked character. Having these realistic is the key to these. You want them to look like the character from the movie with clothing and accessories. They'll make miniature cups and bottles and things as well at the home from vacuum form kits, which we do as well. This is part of the reason why I do my own modeling and stuff like that, because I saw the huge potential in this whole category. And again, this is a multi-million dollar category. Dragon Con, Comic Con, any of the comic conventions that you would go to have huge rows of people that just do this. So this is a huge underground market to most people, but to me, this is mainstream in my field and what I do. It's just an incredibly good market to sell in. There's no end in sight to this field, this market. So, you know, with just some basic skills, you can do it. You can buy these as well and resell them. Buy early and sell later. Hold on to them. This is something that they seem to go up more than anything else. And if it's a known person, someone who's done this for, for several years and has a following, they'll just increase in price. Some of these can go for five or $10,000 for just a custom one-off like this. There's people that just do this for a living. This is literally a living for people to do custom one-off figures. You'll see videos on YouTube even of people that do customs. They won't show the entire customization, but they'll show you before and after pictures. So this is just a huge, huge market. 
Let's look at another one here. This one went for almost $3,000. Now it says one sixth scale. If you don't know, that's about 12 inches. That's a standard, about the size of a Barbie or the large size GI Joe, if you're curious. So that's a typical standard scale that most people do. It's easier to work with, but people do three and three quarter inch custom figures also. So again, if you don't know this field, just type in custom figure in the toy section and you will be blown away by the amount selling and the dollar wise they sell for. There's, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these up at any given day that have sold. Any given day, there's hundreds of them, even thousands that are for sale. So even some of the unskilled people can still sell these for hundreds of dollars. So it's just a really good market here. Forrest Gump, $1,700. People have a big pride in making the figure itself if they just buy a head or making the accessories like the bench and his briefcase, his hat and things along that line. But anyway, again, $1,700 on this one here. Here's Michael Myers from Halloween, another good example, $1,500. The suit, the outfit itself, could have been bought from something else, from a World War II figure, uh, some of the G.I. Joe custom ones even. There's a ton of outfits you can buy and just customize them to look like something else. A paint job, adding some accessories to it. A lot of these, again, are one-offs. Or they're versions that were bought and then custom painted. Again, some of these are nothing more than custom paint jobs on this. Most people wouldn't even know this is an action figure by looking at him like this, just because they're so well done. So. Let's look at some more. And if you look, you'll see some names in the title, like Rain Man. This is the artist that did this. Um, it, it's just a perfect example. This is the dude from The Big Lombowski. If you haven't seen it, it's worth looking at for sure. Some have real hair. As I said, this one does not. It has sculpted hair, but it's still a decent rendition of him. The sweater is probably the hardest thing to come by, would be my guess. Now, people dye these. They'll make reproductions of these in small sizes because basically it's just a pattern on a standard sweater on this version here. So, I mean, there's so many ways to do this. And you can buy just heads, as I said, and just swap them out and make your own custom dude that way if you want. But $1,400 on this one. Another one, uh, Kill Bill. This is the Lucy Liu character in Kill Bill. Uh, so it's just another example of these. It doesn't matter the character, the show, the movie, or anything along that line. They all sell very well. The, the face sculpt is the most important part. Most anybody can get by with creating a costume for these, but the face sculpt is the hardest part. And as I said, you can buy blank ones that have not been painted, do not have hair, and then you can just do your own if, again, that's something you want to do. So, And again, this isn't some oddball category. You can find these occasionally as well, too, out on the street out in the real world because people buy them they'll end up in a garage sale and things like that I found a few not high dollar like these because these are like in mint impeccable condition right off the shelf basically it does say used a lot of these will say used whether they were new one of a kind or not so anyway just because if they're customizing something that already exists the figure itself may not be new so anyway and some will say new it just depends on the person doing these now here's Gus Fring from Breaking Bad, another good example. This is a fairly good likeness. Again, the pieces of clothing, the glasses were probably one of the harder pieces I would imagine to get out of here. People make those. There's, there's hundreds and hundreds or probably thousands of videos on YouTube on how to make miniature items. I subscribe to several channels just because I love to watch how they're made. The head sculpt's the biggest point on here. There's like Tonner bodies and, and companies that make bodies that you can just swap one out. Body and stand are not included on this one. So you have to supply the body and the stand. You're just getting this little kit here. So uh, again, these are just what you can sell these for. This one went for $1,253 because of the custom pieces in here. It's a nice job. It would fit on a standard body. You can even use a G.I. Joe, modern G.I. Joe body, and still do it that way, too. So let's move on from here. Catwoman, another good example. Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman, of course. Uh, the more popular version, I, I think, would be Michelle Pfeiffer's from what I see. Obviously, um, there's the newer versions as well that people are, are quite fond of. Battle damage version. It's got the name of who sculpted it. It's been used. Extra hands and feet and the whole works. Just a good example of these figures here. This one went for $1,200. Another one here, Training Day, Denzel Washington. Good movie if you haven't seen it. 
Um, sculpt's okay on this one here, but it's a good rendition with the costume. And I'll, you know who it's supposed to be either way. Thousand bucks on this one. And they charged almost 40 bucks to ship it. So, um, you know, this is just another good example. People make custom boxes for this. They'll make inserts. You can actually make your own bubbles for the three and three quarter. And then you can print a card as well, too. So many people will do these from scratch or customize their figures on their own. Something I've done in the past, recently even, they do sell well. Uh, Kurt Russell from The Thing, the second rendition of The Thing. There's been three versions of The Thing, if you didn't realize that. Uh, chances are they made that bottle, or maybe somebody makes them and they just bought it from, you know, accessory places. His bag looks like maybe a World War II 12-inch figure, as does the jacket, possibly. It's hard to say. Uh, again, they'll use whatever they can to put these pieces together. It's the finished look that matters, not necessarily where it came from. It's molded in hair as opposed to sculpted as well. It, it doesn't matter to some extent. The molded in hair, though, won't go for as much in some cases as the true uh, hand-planted in hair, so implanted hair. It, it's just the, the difference in realism. From a distance, it looks very well done. Um, you know, it's just a nice piece, just with all the accessories. You know what it's from. That's the key again. Next one here is a repaint. They took a pre-existing head, they repainted it, sanded down the top where the sculpted in hair was, and then implanted hair. 478 bucks. So, you know, these are one-offs. Something like this may have taken, you know, hours to do, but again, some of this can be airbrushed. If you're good at this, this is something that won't take very long to do, in all honesty, if you're just custom repainting. Uh, Head-wise, again, as I said, just the heads will sell. 410 bucks for a head that fits on basically a G.I. Joe body. That's all this is, just the head. And in some cases, these folks will cast the head in vinyl. They'll make hundreds of them and paint them one by one, one at a time. Perfect example. I do similar items. I just don't do hundreds of things. I'll do three, four, five, even ten at a time on some of the figures that we do. This is a real good way to make money. It's steady. It doesn't drop off. It doesn't change during uh, season. So if you're doing this in the summer, you're still going to sell them about as well as you would in Christmas fourth quarter also. So it's a year-round thing that sells. There's a toy fair or toy festival across the country. Almost every month of the year, people can set up, or again, they can set them up online. You can sell them through Facebook, Instagram, all these platforms people use to sell these underground custom figures. And again, for most of you, this is probably the first you're seeing this, but for me, 10 years back, we've seen these. I've been to shows for years and years. Probably 25 or 30 years ago, I went to my first toy show even when I was a child, I went to some of the mall shows that they used to have and tons of toys there before they had full-fledged just toy fairs. But another good example. And the last one here is just an Indiana Jones. Again, just the head, 250 bucks. This probably would have went for more, even though it's a custom paint on this, uh, had there been only a few sculpts. But there's probably about six or eight good sculpts for this exact version of Indiana Jones. Some go for way more than this. The ones uh, that are more realistic, that have a, a more fleshy tone to the face are the ones that go for the most. And again, as I've said, if they have real hair, they do tend to sell for much higher than this. Again, this is just a head, but this is a mass-produced one. This one was very popular. There's thousands of these heads available. So again, it dictates by how many are available. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there you go. Hopefully that gave you a real eye-opener here. This is a huge category. There's a lot of money to be made here. Thousands and thousands of dollars of these types of items sell every single day of the year, day in and day out. Hopefully that gave you some ideas. Hopefully that gave you some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.